Uh, I'd like to go through uh, a few scenarios, if you don't mind. Uh, if Greece or Ireland, for instance, uh, defaults, what will happen? I don't comment on absurd assumptions. I was afraid of. I was afraid of. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. But I give it a try, you know. Uh, <laughs> But might a, a, a specific default, might that be a real problem for the Eurozone, if it will happen? Again, I, I don't comment on assumption. What we have now is a program which has been approved yeah. by the international community yeah. and not only by the yeah. European, by the IMF and not only by the Commission and by the Council in liaison yeah. uh, with us. And uh, it's hard work. Hard work has to be done according to this diagnosis, which is visible, mm -hmm. obvious, and known by all, not only by the European, but by the international community. Okay. The Dutchman Willem Buiten, he is a chief economist uh, at uh, Citigroup, doesn't think uh, it would be a huge disaster if a country were to go uh, bankrupt. And, quote, it's not such a bad thing at all for a country to go bankrupt. It is not like a company that goes bankrupt. The country won't cease to exist. Costs and revenues will just be redistributed." Unquote. Well, I, I let him, I know him, I let him the responsibility of what he says. Uh, he has uh, his own uh, freedom of writing. Yeah, of and course, he, but it's interesting he, thesis. He, this. Yeah, yeah, he wrote, he wrote a, a lot of very interesting and stimulating thesis, and this is the great privilege, if I may, yeah. of uh, academia and yeah. of uh, such, uh, such uh, brilliant uh, professors mm -hmm. to, to be able to That's say right. that. I have myself uh, been uh, chairman of the Paris Club yeah. in the 80s uh, and the beginning of the 90s, uh, it is the club which was precisely dealing with countries that had bankrupted. Yeah. And, Especially uh, in the third world. And uh, I have the memory of uh, what happened in Mexico, in Brazil, in uh, Argentina, in uh, uh, Poland, in Egypt, uh, in uh, Soviet Union at the time, because I had to be profoundly involved in all those problems. I would not let uh, somebody say that it, it's, it is not a problem because <laughs> you, you should ask yeah. those who had the responsibility yeah. of these countries at the time. But again, let's not embark in, uh, you know, uh, too much theory. In practice, we have a program. We have a program in the countries that you have mentioned. They are implementing that program. They have to implement this program rigorously and we are controlling that every quarter. Would it be possible that the euro country uh, who, are in, uh, who are in trouble now, Portugal, Greece, Ireland, restructures their debts this year? No. This is not the assumption that uh, we are have in mind, both the European and the international community. Uh, yeah, you don't have it in mind, but it could happen. Sir, I'm sorry. We have, again, okay. a program that we are applying. Okay. Your answer is clear. Yeah. Uh, what's, uh, what, what's the likelihood? What will happen with the countries, what you think? They will pursue these policies because the uh. European governments, again, it's not the responsibility of the central bank. This is in the hands uh. of the European governments, individually and collectively. Uh. Individually, uh. because those who have uh. this program have to implement the program yeah. and as I said be ahead of the curve and the council namely mm -hmm. the college of the governments of Europe euro area and the 27 depending on the yeah. governance but for the euro area it is the 17 and the yes. 17 have on behalf of their yeah. own authority and of course on the report right. of the Commission to follow to control, to survey, and to have this kind mm. of permanent governance that we are mm. calling for. Okay. It is okay. their responsibility, and each authority has to be up to its responsibility. Okay. Uh, you don't want to mention the, wo the word restructure, but isn't it cheaper for the European Union as a whole 
to restructure the debt of countries such as uh, the countries I mentioned uh, before and subsequently recapitalize the banking system than the solution that is currently, uh, currently being chosen, namely a European Rescue Fund. I think I was clear enough on the fact that I was not envisaging this uh, issue. Let me only tell you that uh, that's, that's why we some, about. some are speaking lightly of such events. There has not been a single default in the advanced economy since World War II. We, uh, you know, we have to be aware of what we are talking about. And uh, this is something, again, which is not the working assumption at all, not only at the level of the European, but at the level of the international community. You are aware that everything you say uh, is carefully weighed. So isn't it strange?